welcome back. Hey, today I'm going to be making up some homemade dog food. I'm going to um, cook it up and I'm going to uh, can it up in, through, in the processor so it will be uh, shelf stable. And um, let me tell you a story as to why I do this. I've been, I've been making uh, my dog's homemade dog food for several years now. Um, and, and I reap all the benefits from doing that. Yes, it's a little bit of work. Yes, it's a little time consuming. But my dogs are healthier. And um, I got to tell you, some of those commercial brands of dog food out there are really not the best. Uh, they've gotten better um, since a while back. There were, were several lawsuits going on uh, in regards to suing the commercial dog food makers because they were killing the dogs. These dogs were just dropping like flies. And in fact, I had a dog, I, won't, I was using a particular brand of dog food, I will not mention the name. I will tell you that um, I was reimbursed by this particular company um, they paid some vet bills for my dog and uh, you know they, they admitted no fault they said we're not at fault but this is what we're willing to do okay and they paid 100% of my vet bill and they reimbursed me a few extra dollars but they weren't at fault. Needless to say, after my dog got really sick, and he was in the vet, and he was dying, and he was his kidneys were failing, and he was on dialysis, and my other dog was losing her hair just right and left. I mean, I couldn't even just barely touch her, and just a whole gob of hair would just come off in my hand and it was like wow that's just so unreal what well, was it was discovered that whoever was making the dog food that they hired out to be made in China by the way it was discovered that who Whoever was making the dog food in China to send it back over here to us, they were putting in um, these cancer drugs and other things in with the food that they were making. And it was killing animals, right and left. You may have read about it. I began making my own food for my dogs and I, I discovered that it really wasn't that much more expensive for me to do that. Um, to buy real chicken or real beef or real whatever. Mostly chicken and beef because animals, the dogs can't really process the pork and things so it was mostly chicken and beef. Sometimes salmon. Um, and it wasn't that much more expensive. That I would I would buy this and I would can it up and it cost about the same amount per week as it did for me to buy the commercial dog food that was making them sick I noticed something when I started cooking food for my dogs um, there everything got better their hair grew back their eyes became clearer their demeanor was calmer. They didn't scratch anymore. They didn't smell anymore. Their bathroom breaks were better. Their sleep was better. They were more playful. They had more energy. Everything got better. And it just took a couple weeks to have that happen. And it was just amazing. It was like I had two different dogs. 
So I continue to do that, and I continue to do that to this day. I, I don't do it as often um, as I used to, but I, I do do it. And I, I make enough that I can process it in the process, or I can put it up on the shelf, and, you know, I could feed them one jar a day, you know. So, enough of that. Today, I've got, I've got the chicken breasts that were on sale. I'm going to throw in some carrots. I've got some apples, so that I'm going to put a couple apples in there. They like apples. They love apples. I've got some blueberries. Um, they love the blueberries. Oh, my gosh. I've got a zucchini that I'm going to chop up and put in there. And I also have a sweet potato that I'm going to cook up and put in there. Um, this whole thing's going to take a couple hours, but that's okay. I got time. I hope you do too. Stick around. I, um, I also uh, forgot to tell you that I'm going to throw some spinach in there too. So uh, that ought to be really good. What I have going right now so far is I have my blueberries and my chopped up carrots in here. So I'm going to continue to uh, chop up the rest of the, the foods and the apples and the zucchini. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to chop up the spinach, but um, I'm going to cook the uh, sweet potato and get that going. And my chicken is already in the pot and it's going to get started here uh, in a minute or two. And in a couple hours we're going to have some homemade dog food for the dogs and they're going to love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I want to show you in this pot. Let me turn this off for a second. Inside this pot, I have all my veggies. And I threw in one can of vegetable broth. So, inside here, there is chopped carrots. There are blueberries chopped zucchini, two chopped apples, and a half a bag of spinach, and over here cooking right now is my sweet potato. When that gets done, I'm going to throw that in here, and over here I have my boiled chicken breast that I'm also going to um, cut up when it cools and throw that in there. And then, once it all marries together, then I'm going to put it in canning jars and throw it in the canner and can it up. This is not done yet, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. See? Human food for dogs. Okay. I have all my jars, these are brand new jars, um, so all I'm going to need to do with these is just give them a quick rinse through in some warm water and um, I'll be able to throw them in the canner, in my canner here, my pressure cooker. And this is the finished product. So I'm going to get busy. I'm going to fill these jars up. Then I'm going to throw them in the canner and uh, we're going to process them. And this food is going to then become shelf stable. So uh, the dogs are going to love it. They've already had a couple pieces of sweet potato that um, I threw in there. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can eat it yourself. It's not just because I'm making it for the dogs does not mean that you couldn't eat it if you needed to or if, even if you wanted to. So everything's all human grade in here. So um, I got to tell you, it, it's, it smells amazing. So, it, you know, I need it if I had to. Heck yeah.
Okay, guys. There you go. Homemade dog food. For the dogs. Alrighty. That's it for me today. Be safe. Be well. And be kind. Bye-bye.